Hello and welcome everyone, and Wolf here streaming live on Twitch with some more Dead by Daylight. Here this Thursday evening. We're going to do something a little bit different, we're actually going to do some killer matches. I haven't played killer in, well, I played one match last week, and then prior to that it was probably... October last year, so maybe a good seven months. Obviously, they've introduced a few new killers. In fact, it may even be longer than that. Holy crap. May even be like over a year since I've actually touched killer. They've introduced quite a few new killers. We are just going to be playing as the default Wraith. And obviously, they have changed the Wraith over the years. Added um, some new uh, consumables. I haven't played the Wraith. In fact, I'm slowly investing blood points into the Wraith right now. But I've always kind of wanted to learn how to play the Wraith because it's a killer which when I face a killer, when I face the Wraith, I get really pissed off. But I think it'd be really fun to play as long as you're not tunneling. Because it's a really good kind of semi-camping killer because you can basically go invisible and watch another survivor go for the save. I don't want to really do that, but... It's a killer that I might actually enjoy, so I thought I'd invest some blood points, give it a go. We do have the glyph challenge here, which I want to work towards. But uh, yeah, I'm only level 24 with a wraith. And I don't have too many perks and no tier 3 perks just yet. Um, I'm going to take Hex Ruin, <clears throat> just because Hex Ruin's handy. Fearmonger is from the Demogorgon. While repairing generators, survivors are afflicted by blindness and exhausted. Which is really good. As exhausted basically stays on so that I don't think they can use dead hard for a certain period of time, if I remember correctly. And then of course we have remember me, which means if we do get to the end game, they can't open the exit gates as quickly. We need to go target our obsession, though. Each time the obsession loses a health state, it increases the exit time. So we need to hit the the blah, blah, obsession at least three times to get those 12 extra seconds. And then finally, maybe not what we should take, Shadowborn, but increases our field of view, which is why I want to take it. Just so we can maybe spot the survivors a bit more effectively. After all, the field of view as a killer is pretty terrible. I mean, I would be tempted to maybe take Brutal Strength, but I think we can counter that with some of the Wraith's uh, add-ons. So the Wraith itself, you can use the Wailing Bell to cloak or decloak. You can't attack players while cloaked, of course. But while cloaked, you have the undetectable status effect, which means they can't hear you approaching via a terror radius. And we're starting to build up a nice selection of perks. So, um, yeah, we can increase the vaulting, breaking pallet speed. I think we'll do that by... I think there's one. Survivors can no longer discern the Wailing Bell's distance or direction. That would be really good. As I say, the, so this is... So, uh, movement speed while cloaked would be really good. Of course, the breaking of pallets and generators would be pretty decent as well. Let's go with, um... Increased movement speed. And I say, I just want blood points for now. So we can level up the wraith a bit more. Let's see if we can find some matches. We are very basic in terms of the killer ranks. See, I got two pips with my... With Sadako.
And let's just see how we do. Let's see, if anything, I mean, with pallets, we might want to take... Since we're not using the breaking... Might be worth taking brutal strength instead. Since we're not using the add-on to break pallets and generators faster. The only thing I'd probably like to get is maybe, um... What's it called again? Bamboozle. So we can vault faster. No one's taking any flashlights, so that's a good sign. Initially. Because they could blind us, they could burn us while we're cloaked. As I say, these matches could go very well or very poorly. I'll just try to take them in good spirits. If I happen to lose. As long as we get a couple of kills, I suppose I'll be content. I don't expect to get uh, 4Ks every time we have a match. Two generators is not... I mean, two toolboxes is not ideal, but... We'll see. Do we have anything to apply pressure? Well, ruin. <laughs> Unfortunately, with the rank where we are, the uh, survivors are probably going to know they're facing a wraith because they'll probably have a tooltip have popped up warning them about uh, what the killer happens to be. Do we start cloaked or not? That is the question.
Hello there, bandit. Leaving uh, the ah. Meg on the hook, which is interesting. What you're up to? Oh, you're AFK. Where are the survivors? You've also went AFK. Ah, there you are.
Yeah, it's the rank. It doesn't help. Really? You disconnected? While on the hook. And this person was AFK from the beginning. the bells yeah it was only the Jake who really am was working quickly just invest some blood points The coxcomb clapper renders the wailing bell completely silent. That's really good. In fact, I'm even going to get the black ward so I don't waste that add on. Ooh. While cloaked, the auras of survivors within eight meters are revealed to you. Oh, handy. I'll take that one. So... Movement speed while cloaked. Uh, so... Ah, uh, decisions, decisions. I'll switch that one out for... Decreased uncloaking speed, I suppose. Let's find ourselves another match. Want to try and build up some of the rarer add ons once I start getting some of the better perks that we can uh, use. We have three black wards, which means we have four uses of the clapper so far. If we could find, I think it's this, like, either find another rare, an ultra rare add-on, if there is another ultra rare add-on, or get maybe Shadow Dance, but at 60% faster air uh, breaking and vaulting speed. Okay, we have a Jake who actually, um knows probably what they're doing, which could go really badly for us. <sighs> Jake is likely going to be, um... It feels the aura the... That Jake's probably going to be the greatest threat on the enemy team. Yeah, I haven't played the killer for so long. I am kind of set. I think it's like ash, copper, or ash, bronze, silver, then gold. I'm barely in bronze or whatever it is in Survivor at the moment. I think I'm like in the dead last uh, matchmaking tier at the moment. <laughs> I'm not very good with a killer. Never have been. It's, well, against people who know what they're doing in the game anyway. I just saw someone. Whoa! 
You're going into a corner, which is a terrible idea. I'm gonna go for this Jake if I can. Because he'll know what he's doing. Managed to uh, freak him out. With your, uh, when you're chasing someone, you have like a red but like light in front of you. So you can kind of trick the survivors into thinking you're going one way when you're not. Don't do it, Jake. Jake's still on the floor. There's the last survivor. They're gonna go straight over here. And I'll just pick you off. Side here. Be on this gen or this gen.
struggling with hooks in this corner of the map. She made it. I wonder if I could grab her from the uh, the hatch. The hatch mechanism may have changed, but no matter. That went a bit better. They were too busy trying to unhook each other. Whereas when you get hooked, you have maybe. 30 seconds before you go into stage 2 hook, so you might as well use that time to let the killer get away and work on some generators. If you just crowd around the uh, hook, you're in uh, a bit of trouble. Ebony Mori grants you the ability to kill all survivors who have reached the second hook state. Tempting. Ooh, Devour Hope, though. I want Devour Hope. And I can get it now. Perfect. Devour Hope is a really good totem. In fact, I'm going to take it. Can I use it, though? Yeah, yes, but I need obviously to have it at a higher per higher tier. So tier one. So I hook a survivor. I need to get 24 meters away, and then if someone unhooks that survivor, I get a token. At two tokens, I get extra speed. At three tokens, everyone gets the exposed effect, which means oh, which means I think I can down them in one hit. And the five tokens, I can kill them instantly. But it means I need to hook a survivor and then run away from the survivor. So hook, hook the survivor, run away. So I have two hex totems, not the best situation. Because if they break them, then the power becomes useless. It deactivates. But it's a fun po- it's a- if they don't find this totem, and I manage to get the- and even if I get the free tokens while it's active, managing to down an opponent at full health just with one hit is actually really powerful. But getting the kill ability at five tokens is really strong. Um... Try to say what we should take. Uh, why don't we go for sacrifice? If we're going to be trying to kill people, let's go for the sacrifice blood points. Since we don't have any uh, good offerings to give us, give us some extra blood points now. We need one more green glyph to complete the current challenge. There was a third... There was like a final glyph I saw on that last map, but I was too busy chasing the, uh, I think the near at the end to try and get the four kill. Otherwise, I, I could have completed the challenge yeah. in the last match. But my uh, banana milkshake, because... I went shopping today and figured, why the hell not get a milkshake?
Wait a chance that the hatch will spawn in the killer shack. I'll keep that in mind. We get to the end game again. The Temple of Purgation. I like this map actually. Kayla, how are you today? So my totems are quite far away from me. It's not ideal. broke my totem. Let's go on a journey. Right, I'm gonna leave them alone. I need to get if I if they both get oh hello Michaela. Before they get free, before I get free tokens, let's get her down and they don't know, because they'll know they have the exposed effect. There you go. That's free tokens already, and everyone's been hooked once. So I just need to escape. I need to go back to my totems, because if they break them, I could be in trouble. I need to get away, get away. Go for the save, go, go for the save, I dare you. Uh, oh. ah! Go for the save, go, let, go for the save. Oh, I was too close. Oh, he, he, he didn't oh. save him. He died on... I, I thought he was getting saved. Oh, that ruins my plans. How dare you ruin my plans. Go 
Go save him. You let him die as well. Oh, you're both here. My devour. Let us go on a journey. We almost got the kill. We almost got the the five tokens I needed. Ah, uh, I feel bad. <laughs> we had some new people. And someone who was pretty good at breaking totems. Uh, or finding totems to boon them. Uh, they were finding totems to uh, activate the circle of healing. Well, that was the Michaela, and we found the Michaela immediately. So she didn't really have a chance to do much. Grab these blood points. Thank you. Can you disappear, please? Thank you. So I need hook eight different survivors. You had a survivor with your weapon ten times. Difficult. You have to do that in a single trial. Because I'm using Devour Hope, I'm probably not going to be able to do that. Let's um hit eight different survivors. It'll take us a couple of uh couple of matches. Ah, so this is the other ultra rare unlocks the potential while cloaked the repair progress of generators can be determined by the intensity of their auras okay that's really powerful we also have oh 
It's like, do we want the ultra rare add-on and the bloody party streamers for extra blood points? Or we can get um the we can get a faster haste effect with uh tier two of devour hope. As much as I really want that devour hope. Uh, tell you what, I grabbed that. Perfect. And... Yep. So let's, uh... We still have plenty of these uncommon add-ons for the moment. So yeah, when um so after two tokens, for ten seconds after the survivor is oh after hooking a survivor, we get a ten second speed boost. Right. Not really gonna make use of that too much, but obviously the exposed and ability to kill survivors is really good. Uh sacrifice again, sacrifice again, why not? So we just need to hit, hit each survivor once in this match at the very least. And then each survivor in the next match at least once. Brutal strength allowing us to destroy pallets, generators, and breakable walls 20% faster. It's pretty good. We're not really getting um getting to the end game right now. The survivors aren't getting the generators done. And once we can um use the higher tier add-ons to move even faster. Be even better. Yeah. Right now the Wraith is actually rather fun, but that's because more it's because we're in the lower ranks <laughs> against a lot of survivors who knew who know more of what they're doing we would probably struggle Lessening the dark mist. Huh. I'm not a fan of the mist item, uh, icon, the items, because you can darken, like, you can thicken or lessen the mist, making it easier to see. But it's better for us because we need to be trying to find the survivors. So lessening the mist is good for us, in a sense. The survivors aren't trying to find a killer, the killer's trying to find the survivors. There's one totem. The rotten fields could be a pain. Okay, they're kind of in the middle of a field in the middle of nowhere.
but I was ill advised. In the basement, you must wait until the dice reads five or eight. This is our third token, so we have the exposed effect now available to us. Unfortunately, we need to go protect our totems. No generators again worked right now. You're really screwing up these skill checks. Ah! Okay, I'm just gonna stand here and wait. Cause if she gets unhooked, you're both dead. I hope you realize this. Thank you. Who feels silly now? I think they're, they're hiding now. Oh, hello.
Now, will they find the hatch? I'm sorry, Meg. We're all out of mercy today. We'll do one more, we'll get this challenge complete, and then we might switch over to some town of Salem. I get this spree of ch violence out of the way, and we'll keep Devour Hope, it seems to be working out well for us. Bang with a flashlight. Hey, it bless. Running around with a uh, hex ruin and devour hope, trying to learn how to play the wraith at the moment. But we're in the low ranks, so it's a mixed bag at the moment. This is the, we're going to do one more match and then we'll probably switch over to a bit of Town of Salem just to unwind and take it easy. Been playing a lot of Town of Salem recently. Like Dead by Daylight, it's a nice game for just each match lasting 10-15 minutes. I was, uh... I did my I did an introduction part to another Star Wars The Old Republic series earlier earlier this afternoon. Probably to my most edited video. Holy crap. But um that series is not gonna see see daylight for another couple of months. But I'm gonna probably start recording it in the background. Make use of the uh, double experience that's available for the next few days. See where we end up this time. A groaning storehouse. So we have a totem there and a totem. Oh Christ. These totems are not in good spots, but. What can you do?
I need to get away from the I'll go I'll go over here because we need these uh, tokens for devour hope I got one generator done. No thing, bad thing. Don't go for the save. God damn it, I don't wonder. Well, that's two things. Happy this thing's given up. Come on, Fang, let's go for a journey. No one's getting the Claudette. Yeah, the Claudette's dead. They didn't save her. for the save oh no she's dead I can wait, you can't. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, cat. That didn't go exactly how they planned, I suppose. Okay, we'll spend our blood points and then we'll switch games for two or three matches. You chase, be chased by the killer or chase the survivor for 120 seconds. Uh, sure. So we'll spend these blood points. See if there's anything else interesting we can unlock. Uh, Iron Grasp would be good. as a teachable perk we could go for that obviously 
Oh, wise, these bone clappers are quite useful because they're quite annoying. Yeah, we'll go for the other bone clapper and the ebony mori when we have the opportunity. Probably followed by the the white shadow dance. But we'll take a break. Um, well, we won't take a break. We'll switch games.